Hi everyone, this is Beth Betio. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to look at this really important pathology called septic arthritis, which is infection of the joint. Now this can happen because of direct inoculation, let's say joint infection, in injection or in IV drug users who are injecting at the wrong site. Um, but usually it's because of hematogenous spread or the blood carrying the infection one, from one part of the body to the other and causing a joint to get infected. So it's very important to recognize this early and treat it promptly because otherwise this can result in you know, massive joint destruction causing significant morbidity and mortality for the patient. So how do you recognize it? Um, plain x-rays may be negative initially, especially. So if you look at um, MRI, especially MRI with contrast would be the way to go. You would see the telltale signs of osteomyelitis in the edges and bones, the hypo-intense T1 signal, the hyper-intense T2 signal, but for septic arthritis, you would also see capsular enhancement or synovial enhancement, especially with the post-contrast imaging, you would see that enhancement. And that should, that should raise your concern that there is something going on here. The definite diagnosis would be to put a needle in, get some of that fluid and look under a microscope. So Staphylococcus aureus is usually the cause of um, a lot of septic arthritis. Uh, the definitive treatment is to drain that joint fluid and start a definitive antibiotics, which are based on uh, cultural sensitivity studies.